Um, is everyone ready for the first act of the second half? <laughs> Amazing, good. Um, it's going to be Mike Clark. I hope you're prepared. Um, everyone else, please prepare yourselves for the wonderful Mike Clark! <laughs> Evening, my name's Mike, and uh, give me a cheer if you like beer. Woo! Yeah, it's brilliant, I love beer. Now, give me a cheer if you like my favourite type of beer, real ale. Hey. Well, not, not, not <laughs> such a good response there, and uh, I think myself and my friends in the campaign for real ale actually have to admit that real ale has got something of an image problem at the moment. So, we've decided to do something about it. We've organised um, a beer festival to help defeat coronavirus. Woo! You can see the, uh, the tasting notes there. It's called Beers to Sanitise You from the Inside Out. A little bit of inspiration from uh, Donald Trump there. That's a <laughs> festival at the, the Grave Diggers Arms, our local. And um, who can fail to, um, to, to, be, uh, to, to be impressed by the likes of Old Septic Flea Bite, Crusted Armpit... Toxic sludge, and my favourite, against which I think the virus has got no chance, sphincter loosener. <laughs> but um, do they give us credit for it? No. But um, there are good things about being, a, being a, a real ale lover, because you get to wear a uniform. Um, it's the rules. I'm, I'm modelling, uh, modelling it for you now. It's um, a T-shirt, which ideally is... Um, beer stained from a beer festival several decades ago and several sizes too small <laughs> to show off that um, wonderful beer belly that you've curated over the, uh, the past several decades. And um, this particular one that I'm modelling here is um, London 2018, great British beer festival. Um, but I'm showing you this because it's the dangers of doing fashion when you're completely pissed. I mean, you, you can see here it's London Beer Festival, Great British Beer Festival, and it's got a bit of a landmarks um, theme to it. You can see it starts off quite well here. We've got Big Ben, we've got the London Eye, we've got um, Tower Bridge. But then it starts getting a bit pear-shaped, I don't know if you can <laughs> see at the back, but we've got the Angel of the North. <laughs> and then we've got Edinburgh Castle. I mean, you could say, yeah, they're all British, all the same country, for now anyway. <laughs> but um, things start to go really pear-shaped. I mean, I don't know if it's me or if I need my eyes testing, but the last time I came out of Oxford Circus Tube Station, I missed the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> and um, I didn't um, see that fantastic London landmark, the Eiffel fucking Tower, <laughs> or the Statue of Liberty in Trafalgar Square. I mean, I think they must have had about 17 pints of sphincter loosener before they designed that. <laughs> but um, one other um, thing about us as real ale lovers is that we don't have the greatest reputation um, as that other sort of lover. And um, I, I have to say that I'm, I'm a bit guilty of this myself. Um, I'll share a story with you um, about myself and a girlfriend several years ago. Um, she was, uh, we, were, we were in bed together, um, she was a, a, a real ale lover as well and we'd had uh, 17 pints of cripple cock between <laughs> us. And she said to me, Mike, I want more foreplay. And I said to her, well I can change the music if you like, <laughs> but I don't think they've done a decent album since Fever La Vida. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, um, she said, no, no, that's cold play. And I thought, well, I'm going to be, uh, I'll do a bit of improvisation here and uh, use my sexual imagination. So I said, mm, cold play. I thought about it, and uh, even if we take the shelves out, I don't think we're going to fit in our fridge, especially not with my, um, my beer belly. <laughs> and on another occasion, um, just in the throes of passion, she whispered to me, she said, um, whispered in my ear, Mike, I want you to take me up the back passage. And I said, great, you know, if, uh, if, that, if, that's, your, if that's your thing. But uh, we'll have to remember to um, collect all the recycling and, um, from the kitchen before we get out there. <coughs> so um, 
You can criticise us really well, uh, love us for a lot of things, but we are environmentally friendly. <laughs> so, um, I'll be Mike, Mike Clark. Thanks very much. <laughs> Give up a Mike Clark, everybody. Thank you so much. Yes, that was Mike Clark. I'm a... Uh, Buy him a drink! Fucking buy him a drink, agree? Buy him a drink! Perfect.